Hello and welcome to the introduction to the newest Christmas cloche bundle, which includes a stamp set and a die set. So as far as the cloches, there are two cloche dies, one's larger and one smaller. There's a bunch of images, a bow, a bell, some pine bow, a little highlight. There's a large Christmas tree. There's some smaller, you can customize the, the height of this buildable tree. Stars, berries, an adorable deer and fox that you can build. Some snow, hilly snow parts, some garland for the tree. There's a sentiment that says Mary. And then for the stamp set, there's a great sentiment you can stamp inside the cloche, wishing you joy and good cheer. There's happy holidays, Merry Christmas, season's greetings. There's a little snow flurries. There's a face and hooves for the deer. There's a face and ears for the fox. Some other smaller little sentiments. And again, little greenery. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the die cuts. I die cut them to kind of show you what they look like. First up is this beautiful Mary script word die. Look at it. I die cut it out of some cranberry cardstock. It's just very dainty and intricate, and I just love the way it looks. Um, there's an adorable bow that's, I think it's about four different pieces you can layer up, but it gives it that real dimensional look. It looks so great out of poppy cardstock. I mean, you stick a red bow on anything and it's ready to party. Look at this little bell. I die cut it out of some matte gold cardstock. You could do silver, should I sing it? Silver bells, some greenery, some stars, different types of stars. Um, here's the big tree and I put the little dots you know, for ornaments or berries. You can use them for berries or ornaments. A little bit of matte gold garland, draping it down the tree, cascading. And this is fun, you can put that in the cloche or you could use it by itself, either way you go. There's also this kind of builder tree. It's three dies. So if you wanna use all three, you can see I used all three to make a tall skinny tree, but you could use the top two, you could use one. Um, I'll show you a project at the end where I kind of made three different heights of trees just out of that one little die. And then here's a little mini, just a little cute little mini. And all these things can fit in the cloche, but they can also be used by themselves. Check out the fox and the deer. I mean, forget about it. Okay, so you die cut the fox and the deer out of solid color cardstock. And then the stamp set allows you to add a little details like the face and the hooves and even little dots on top of the deer. And there's also teeny, teeny, tiny little dies for um, inside of the ears. Here's a little highlight for the cloche. Um, this is the larger cloche. This is the smaller cloche. See how they can layer together. Um, and then if you put the two together and die cut them at once, you can get a little outline which I did here, you could create that um, just as an outline. You could make it a shaker. Here's a cloche base. That's two separate dies. I layered up with two shades of gray. And then there's also a little die that creates kind of a snowy, snowy little base. You know, I layered those together with some white glitter cardstock. It's just a nice little base to set your trees on, to put your little critters on. Um, I'll show you how it looks here set the tree on this snowy hill and you can layer your trees, layer your critters and just get into the festive mood of the cloche. Now there's a lot of other things that you could put in the cloche, like whatever you can think of. You'll want to put a nutcracker, maybe from past releases, um, a car, a truck, different trees you might have. Here's an adorable red house from Over the Rooftops coming out this release. Look how it fits in the cloche. I mean, I love that. I love that red, beautiful house in a cloche with a red bow. Maybe you wanna keep it traditional. Put a Christmas tree in there. Look at how pretty that looks. Very traditional, classy, never go out of style. You can add all types of embellishments to the top of your cloche with the bells, the bows, the pine, the greenery. I mean, you could tie some twine around it. Look at how you can do the greenery different styles. You just flank it and you get your festive on. 
I mean, what more is there to it? Okay, I'm going to show a couple projects. Actually, a few. I mean, I had fun. I had fun with the Christmas cloche. Here's the one where I did the three different sizes of trees. And look at that fox. Now, for the cloche, I used some of the new Fala La pattern paper. I embossed a sentiment down on the base. And now here's one that I zhuzhed up to the high heavens. I turned the cloche into a shaker. I took that gold outline, backed it with acetate. I did a white glitter tree. The background was stamped using the ornament turnabout with white pigment ink on nectar cardstock. I feel like I was channeling my inner Carissa Wiley on this card, and I'm here for that. Also, uh, since I was going the extra mile, I zhuzhed up an envelope using some of the new lined with love dies. Uh, I used some more follow law pattern paper to make a liner on the inside. Look at this cute little delivery truck and that hello word die and this little addressing die cut. This is all from the lined with love die set and it coordinates well with my card. And then one last bright red poppy cloche. I embossed that large sentiment in white on that poppy cloche. And again, the background was stamped with the ornament turnabout. I did a nectar bow. I added some greenery and some gold bells. I should have did silver bells. What was I thinking? But this card is very bright and happy. So there you have the introduction to the gorgeous new Christmas cloche stamp set and dies.